Today I'm going to show you how to draw this explosives warning sign, but let's not talk about it. Wow! Let's do it. Well, Emily emailed me last week asking me to show how to draw firework kind of things for GCSE graphic design that she's doing. GCSE is an exam that you do when you're around about 16, and there's a thing coming up in it. She knows that they've been told to prepare for to do something about firework safety. And so I'm doing a few little things based on that, which have just it's just got me interested. Okay, this is gonna be a, an explosive sign, okay? So what you want is there's gonna be a ball there. And then from the center, we want these kind of lines radiating out like that. Okay, and start off by drawing a little curve not the whole ball we're not doing the whole ball okay and then we're going to want to kind of follow these lines and maybe you can do a whole bit now this is going to go into the outside there so i'm not worrying too much that can come there and then this might come like that and then we might have a, a thin bit there and maybe a thicker bit going there. So these are going this this is gonna be a black line around the outside. And then maybe another bit like maybe just one thin line like that. So go like that. And then so this is kind of the explosion, this is the ball that has exploded. And then we need to ink in these. Now this is going to take me forever, so I'm going to use a brush pen uh, just to fill in some area quickly. If you want to know, this is a Pigma brush, archival ink. So this is waterproof as well. I always like to have waterproof inks when I'm drawing because I quite often do watercolour over the top, so and then it doesn't smear. Getting really true watercolour things is quite difficult. Things that are really water proof when they're dry. Now I'm going to actually leave a little bit in the middle there like that and then we need to put these kind of bits exploding and they're quite random <laughs> like that. Like that. And then we're going to want to come around the outside. And again, I'm going to use the brush pen to get that inked in quickly. And I've got a bit, a bit too thick there, haven't I? But never mind, never mind. <laughs> when you are sure that it is dry, and remember this if you're in an exam, wait until the ink is dry before you erase your working out pencil lines like that. And then you can just crown in over the top. Crown, I say the crown. It's, I'm, I'm old fashioned. In the old days, we called these crowns. It's a coloured pencil. Okay. Emily's told me she's allowed coloured pencils to take coloured pencils in to her exam. And so that's what I'm showing you how to do it with. Then draw a couple of lines underneath and you need to kind of x per le a so e ver e so so you need to do this just do this really simply down and across you just need really simple lettering and it doesn't matter if the there's quite big spaces in between it's kind of you can call that style You'd have seen the last video I did was this Danger Fireworks, and you can put the two together, sort of to give a kind of technical kind of danger kind of thing, um, if you know what I mean. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, go and see the last video I did, the, the, the Danger Fireworks sign, uh, or just try the mystery drawing instead. Either way, make sure you are subscribed to the Shoot Rainer Drawing Channel for new drawing videos every Monday and Friday. 
why not go and visit my website shewainer.com and where you can get my new book everyone can draw <laughs> in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and keep revising for those exams and uh, good luck in those two in the meantime you take care i'll see you next time bye bye